Hey royalty, hey empress, hey empresses, how are y'all doing today? This video is going to be for Virgo, Summer Rising Venus, and North Node. If you are new here, welcome. Thank you so much for joining me on my channel. Don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe, y'all. First things first, I only have one YouTube page and one Instagram page. Don't get scammed. You can only book a personal reading with me using my website, which will be listed down below in the description box. I pray you're having a beautiful and blessed day. I pray you have a beautiful and blessed week. May Father God continue to cover you, bless you, and keep you safe all days, always. Let's begin, Virgo. Angels, answer ancestors, spirit guides of the highest white light, please come down and protect me. Please come down and give me clear messages that straight from the divine. Archangel Michael, Holy Spirit, please come down and protect me, guide me, and keep me safe. And please come down and protect and guide the viewers that I put on this video today. Any negative energy being sent, please return it back to sender a hundredfold. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Amen. All right, so the card that popped out, is there something about you needing to seek the truth? This is like the two of swords energy I'm seeing here. You could be pregnant at this time with this nurture energy. This is like a empress energy as well. This could be about an empress or this could be about you. This could also be about a pregnancy or about somebody's money or wealth. Something about you needing to seek the truth, Virgo. So you could be in a situation at this time where it's a lack of clarity. And the number seven, this has to do with your path and where you're headed. 37 could be significant. 73 could be significant. March, July could be significant as well. Yeah, this is a win or lose situation here. You're going to have to confront this. Like, yo, spirit is, <laughs> I don't want to say it, but spirit is like, it's an ass whooping that's about to happen. Like, I'm just being real. It's just this is like an ass whooping is coming <laughs> oh man they are like listen like every week virgo <laughs> you need to speak the truth virgo okay this could be a win or lose situation who got this leo i think this was leo that got this energy you can be connected to a leo you can have leo in your birth chart Either way you go, it's, it's going to be a, it's going something's going to come about from it. So you make the you make the choice. Either you are going to take a win, or you're going to take a loss. Okay, and they're saying it's something that you have been avoiding. You have been not wanting to confront it, but it's time and it's and it's dark. Something about it. this could be a shadow. This could be something that you are literally scared to confront. It's looking at yourself in the mirror. Okay, it's time to. To, to take the necessary steps towards your journey. And it seems like you could be very scared. Wherever you are at, you're like, oh, la la it's fine. And spirit is like, listen, we have things that you need to be doing or taking action on. It's time to go this way. Why are you thinking that this is good or this is the, the you know, the milk and honey? And it's not, okay? It's something about it's time to move forward. Number nine could be significant. The number 18, the number five. May could be significant. September could be significant. Okay, or the 18th could be significant. Okay, let's go to move forward. What else does Virgo need to know? Virgo, yeah, divine feminine energy is popping out. You are this divine feminine. Okay, it's something about you realizing this or you knowing this I'm seeing here. I'm also seeing here, yeah, you have safe travels. It's time for you to, to go forward. It's time for you to choose a direction. You could have up to four different pathways or this could also have, to do with like you going through a transformation over certain moon cycles it's time for you to come back close to home it's time for you to go home it's time for you to connect back to your home it's time for you to connect back to self it's time for you to safeguard your home as well yeah it's time for you to literally step into the power that you hold like spirit is trying to put you into purpose and power the number six could be significant the number three the number 10 the number 46 the number five, like coming here again, 55 could be significant. Five, six, seven could be significant, that angel number. June could be significant, March, or even October. Any of these months could be of significance to you. Someone could be born on these dates in any given month, or these months or these dates could most definitely be significant. But it's something about you gaining affluence, you becoming affluent, I'm seeing here. You need to spiritually cleanse yourself. You could be manifesting in or meditating. You could be trying to get to a certain place within your life, but there is not only power, but it's also stature or respect. It's a spiritual cleansing that's needed. And there goes that five energy. It's a spiritual cleansing that's needed. 55 is significant, most definitely. 
You may even need to be, you may need to start wearing like protection jewelry or you may need a spiritual bath. You may need to start saging. Okay, it's something about you really safeguarding your energy at this time and really getting back in tune with self. I believe Taurus got this card last week. I don't think anybody got meditate, you know, this week. I don't believe. But I know for a fact Taurus had got this last week because I did this on in their energy. I saw it. You know, you see the fingers, something about meditation. You guys could be going to like guided meditations, like with the group. Okay, praying, or you could be watching it like on YouTube, the guided meditations. This is also you just you connecting with your angels and your ancestors. You could be, you could have rosary beads if you are like religious or Christian. You could have like a a spiritual bead. Someone here also wears beads around their waist, the waist beads I'm seeing here as well. Someone here likes to wear like beads. Someone here could even be from New Orleans. I'm also seeing Mardi Gras with these beads as well. That's very random. <laughs> Someone here likes to party, okay? But I'm, I'm seeing when it comes to these beads, you may even have like protection beads, okay? Or it's something about you meditating so that you are able to cleanse your energy and regroup yourself. Okay, let's see here. What else does? What else does Virgo need to know? Please and thank you. Virgo, you could be connecting to an earth sign. Now, this is your energy, Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn. Okay, yeah, it's time for you to open your heart. Okay, it's time for you to open your heart to love, to true love, to the real embodiment of love I'm seeing. Oh, yeah. So you could have been intimate with someone. This could have been, you could have been intimate with another earth sign. And be mindful, okay, because you may need to go to the doctor. This ain't good. Something about sexual chemistry, you having sex with someone, and now there's health concerns, okay? Or there's about to be, okay? Like, this could be health concerns that may arise. So for someone here, you could be going to the doctor. You may not be getting the best news, and I'm not trying to scare you, but I'm not no doctor. I'm just a messenger. Intimacy and health, y'all connect the dots. You guys are very intelligent. <laughs> you connect the dots. I'm seeing it. It's some type of, it's, ooh, it's some type of cycle. Okay, this is a repeating of a cycle. Something was fated to take place. This is also karma coming in. I'm seeing here something needs to end so that you can embrace a new beginning within your life. Yeah, listen to your intuition because the red flags that you are ignoring right now are going to really come back to, to bite you and cause conflict later. Okay, you could also be getting ready to go on a vacation. You could be planning a vacation. I'm seeing here you need to be mindful with who you're sleeping with. Someone here is going to tell you something, too, about someone or about something that you are manifesting. Someone here is going to confess something to you. You have a confession coming in. You could be manifesting something with an individual. And you may find out information about it for someone here as well. But I, Yeah, <laughs> literally. So that's for someone here. You also are very lucky. Ladybugs could be significant as well. This is also a, a lucky time for you to open your heart to new love. They want you to connect with someone who's going to respect you on all levels. I'm seeing here. Yeah, someone else wanted to pop out. So someone here you're, you're connecting to. That's why the health concern is here. Someone here is not just, you know, being com completely honest or with you. You're connecting to someone that is sleeping with someone else or they have someone else that's in the middle. This is like a third party situation. Someone here on the outside or the, on the outskirts is trying to sabotage a relationship that you are in at this time. And someone is allowing it. You see, this person could be with you, but they're allowing this third party to like, they're, they're allowing it. They could even have feelings for this third party, even though they are with you. You see, the, the heart is going to this outside person. So, yeah, be mindful because you could be getting ready to go on a vacation with this individual or you could be traveling soon, I'm seeing here. This could also be an air sign that could be coming towards you, a Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius for someone here. Okay, let's start to what's the T. What else does Virgo need to know? Okay, what else does Virgo need to know? Please and thank you. Somebody here is a divination abuser. They're watching too much tarot. They're getting too many readings done. They're paying for readings. They could even be paying for work to be done with this divination abuser. Somebody here is a divination abuser. And Father God is not pleased. It's time for you to move in silence as well. This person could be trying to move in silence even though they're talking shit. Okay? Wow. You also have someone that's like hooked on you or you could be hooked on someone right now. What's this divination abuser? Okay, somebody here. They could be holding a grudge against you. Yeah, this is a wolf in sheep's clothing. 
So somebody here is acting, you know, like very friendly or very nice, and they are absolutely not. You also have here daydreaming. This could be someone that's daydreaming or fantasizing about you. I'm seeing here, but this is a drama starter. So somebody here could even be using, you know, divination to start some type of drama. Yeah, this is someone that may want you back. So someone here could be getting readings done because they want to be back in a relationship with you. They're reminiscing about the good times that they had with you. This is also someone that is very threatened by you, very intimidated. They're very bothered. So they could be trying to use tarot or divination to try to come up with some type of dirt on you. They're looking for, for dirt on you. I'm seeing here, Virgo. What's this moving in silence? You need to move in silence at this time and continue to ignore this person. Okay, the more you ignore or the more you move in your own energy or continue to do what you want to do, like in regards to like staying clear of, of drama, of conflict, of discord, okay, the more that this person is going to try to stalk you. You most definitely have someone that's stalking you. They want to be in your energy. They're obsessively watching you. I'm seeing here as well, but their energy is played out or this situation is played out. What's talking shit? Somebody here is talking about you. They feel like they have evidence on you. Or you have evidence of someone talking shit about you. This is this drama starter, okay? This someone here could be a performer. They could be in the arts. They could be an entertainer. There's another card that I think flipped. Yeah, you also have someone that's into you. Or this could be someone that was acting like they were into you. What's into you about? You have someone that you have great chemistry with or there's a good vibe. Yeah, this person is looking you up. Okay, they're watching you, they're studying you, they're getting info on you. Be mindful because someone that's into you or someone that you're into, there, there could be like someone on the outskirts with this argument. Somebody here could be trying to physically fight you or compete with you for this connection that you could be building with someone. What's this looking you up? Somebody here is looking you up. Oh. This person is either connected to a drama starter or this could be this person that wants you back. Okay, that could be one of you to feel like they're still into you. Yeah, you also are getting ready to come into some type of money. Okay, winning money. Okay, you could be hitting the jackpot. You could be winning some type of money. You could be getting ready to get rich. This is an inheritance or unexpected money coming in. This could also be a reason why someone, you know, is, is trying to connect with you at this time. They're trying to put on a fake smile. What's this jackpot? Somebody here is going to try to smile in your face. Yeah, they have a bad reputation, though. And they're only trying to do this because they want something from you. They're also watching you to see who's commenting on like your, your stuff, who's commenting on your page, who's trying to connect with you at this time I'm seeing here. Yeah, somebody here's trying to play scarcity, scarcity tactics with you. They want to get you by yourself as well. Or they're trying to play chess with you. They most definitely are stalking your social media. Okay, And this person is because they don't have any real facts about you. So they're making stuff up. They're making shit up. Oh, my goodness. Okay, let's go to the tarot. What else does Virgo need to know? What else does Virgo need to know? Please and thank you, Holy Spirit. The King of Pentacles to the Four of Swords. You could have laid to rest in um, a situation. Yeah. You close something out. Scorpio, Taurus, Sagittarius, Aquarius, energy here. Also Capricorn. You laid something to rest here. You closed out a cycle. You learned your lesson in regards to like a, a to a cup situation, a relationship. This is also a new beginning of you having a healthy relationship with someone. I'm seeing here there is a relationship that's coming in yet, and it's it's gonna lead to marriage. Okay, this could be with the water sign, a Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces, or the Taurus. Okay, right now you could be just holding back on your A game, like really like. You know, keeping things to yourself, not really being open. You may not even be open to like, you know, marriage at this time. You may, you may, yeah, yeah, I see it. Right now, you're ghosts. There you go, Virgo. And it's like you're just trusting where you're being guided towards. You're trusting where, yeah, there you go, Virgo. Gemini energy as well. It's like right now you're going ghosts. You're on like a soul's journey with the hermit card. You could be like going through like a dark night of the soul. Okay, different things are, are, coming towards you, which is like putting you in a place of enlightenment or wanting to, you know, study. This is also like higher levels of learning. I'm seeing here with the hermit card, you're studying at this time or you're regrouping your energy towards what's important. Okay. With the six of swords, you're moving forward. You're moving away from a very turbulent place within your life. And it's like, you're moving towards peace. What's this hermit about? You're manifesting as well. You have all the tools in the kingdom to manifest the life that you want for yourself.
You have the passion. Okay, you could be rebuilding or coming into wealth. You also are balancing out your emotions at this time. And you could be speaking the truth or gaining the clarity that you need. What's the hermit about? Yeah, you, you got some type of information that someone is not the lover that you're supposed to be with. Not the choice, not the option. The lover's in the reverse. Somebody is karmic. They could be very abusive. This could be like a, a karmic soulmate that you could have been with or a karmic relationship where it was a lot of turbulence, a lot of drama, a lot of discord, and it was being orchestrated by fallen angels. Okay, if you look at this, this is like an angel in the reverse. So somebody here was listening or mm, it was a very dark energy or a dark relationship that you could have been in. This is not your person. You could have realized this though. Okay, someone here also could have had multiple options and they did not want to choose just one. With the lovers, the lovers in the upright is someone having like a choice between two. In the reverse, someone here doesn't care. They 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 share their body. They don't care. They want to have these options. You could have deeply been like investigating someone or deeply trying to find out information about a relationship. And it's like something is just enough. Okay, five, five, five on the timer. As I said, this you have completely closed out a cycle, or there will be a positive completion in regards to this individual or in regards to this person. Yeah, it's it's happening very rapidly too, Virgo. You may not have like wanted this to happen with the tower, but it's something that God is orchestrating with the sun. Leo energy, Scorpio is here. It's like God is saying, like, enough is enough. It's time for this tower to fall down. This is a fake and faulty foundation that I'm tired of, you know, still being up. It's time to to let this go. When the tower comes, it's nothing that you could do except for surrender, okay? Just go with the flow. Go with the flow of the divine I'm seeing here because there's a lot of illusions that you were under or that you could have been in. You may have been happy with this, but God wasn't pleased with this, okay? So it's something about the tower and the seven of cups being here. So God is destroying illusions, fictitious energy, things that, yeah, kept you stuck, kept you trapped in different ways. Okay, with that, with the hangman, you could have been dealing with an Aries or a Taurus. This could have been a father figure, someone that you may have had a child with or family with. This could have even been your father that was literally playing like mind games, the Eight of Swords with you. And they were doing things like in the dark. Cancer energy, Scorpio is also here. Somebody here didn't want you to know what was happening at night. They hit a lot of like spiritual illusions. They set up a lot of spiritual illusions. There's a lot of secrets in this connection with the moon. Somebody here did not want you to know exactly what was happening with them at all. Yeah, it's time for this to be laid to rest. 44 could be significant. Yeah, you also, oh, my nose is just going wild right now. <laughs> like it's itching. It's like a feather um, with the seven of pentacles being here. Yeah, you could have put in a lot of time. You could have been trying to manifest or you could have been really trying to be patient with an individual. And it's like enough is enough of the patience. Enough, enough, enough is enough. I'm here. You gave enough with the Seven of Pentacles. It's like you were putting in a lot of work just to get back a, a mere morsel of the energy, time, resources that you put in. It's time to really love yourself with the Ace of Cups. Focus on true love. Focus on getting your, your cup filled from up above from God and also embracing a new love that's meant to come in at this time. Yeah, it's time to expand, Virgo. It's time to go in a new direction. It's time to leave behind what you thought was it, which kept you trapped. Look at this bondage here the, the pole is attached to this wall so whoever or whatever you were with it was going to keep you completely trapped in that situation you were going to cap there there wasn't going to be any more growth any more expansion it's and it's like you have big dreams with the star aquarius energy it's time for you to like grow yeah it's time for you to leave someone out in the cold as well somebody here also wanted you to feel very cold or they wanted you to feel like you were you know, by yourself in a relationship, they wanted you to view that as new love or as real love. It's not. You have a choice to make, and it has to do with your karma as well. Someone here also feels abandoned from having real love. They feel like left out in the cold from having real love. It could be a Libra involved as well. But this is karmic justice for you to choose which pathway with the two of wands, which way do you want to go towards? That's that win and loss energy. Because if you, yeah, it's something about you could have taken your time. You could have been very methodical. You could have been very patient. And it's, it's time to choose. It's time to, it's time. You have a lot of options as well with the seven of cups, but it's time to choose. Okay. It's literally this person is choosing. What do they want? There also could have been a lot of illusions in regards to a partnership or work or group of people that you could have been trying to bring on in regards to a contract or in regards to money as well with the three of principles. It's also have to could have to do with an emperor, an Aries or a Taurus. Somebody here could have like a work group, okay? They were trying to like, somebody here was, this man could have been trying to like manifest using you, yeah. 
somebody here is also manifesting marriage, or they could have been manifesting like a higher position with the higher font in a higher level institution, marriage, a contract I'm seeing here. But with the six of pentacles, there's something about this person was, this could even be like a polygamist. They may act like they want something that is of monogamous with the two of, you know, with the higher font with two people here, but this is someone that really wants like three. Three's a crowd energy. Yeah, somebody here is very selfish with the nine of cups, and they may keep this to themselves with the king of swords. That they may have wanted this. Yeah, it's all about choices right now with the wheel of fortune. Because the four of wands is here. It's time for you to hold back from a very burdensome relationship with the ten of wands being here. And something that was full of illusions and darkness, especially with the four of wands in the reverse. This is a breakup, a failed connection. Someone here, you could have been living with this person or they could have been living with you. Somebody here is like getting put out of that house or they could have tried to turn this household upside down. Okay, you, you could be realizing this about someone as well. Okay, anything else that Virgo needs to know? Everybody has 20 minutes. What, what else? Anything else that Virgo needs to know? In this deck? Somebody here, they don't want to let you go. Okay, yeah, somebody here wanted to treat you like a maid. They felt like you were a maid. You could have taken care of someone or they wanted to you to cook and clean for them and, you know, treat them like a child, baby them and give them money and stuff. And, you know, they not give, they not help you with nothing. That's this maid energy. My goodness, yeah. Somebody here get, is getting ready to have karma for generations because they could have tried to get a clone of you or... They could have been very fake with you or they could have went towards people that were very fake. This person only pops up if they, if, to see if the spell work is working as well. I'm seeing here, somebody here is only popping up for that. Yeah, you also have here, somebody here is destroying themselves. Okay, you're also on the way to becoming a millionaire or a billionaire. And that's why they don't want you to join the dark side. They don't want you to say yes to this individual, I'm saying. Because this is someone that wants you to say yes, even though they are emotionally unavailable. They also are trying to, like, cash in on your spiritual rewards. This person has secret lovers, okay? And they also are around people that do not like you. So what if they don't like her so, or like him? So somebody here is around people that don't really care about you or they're talking junk about you and they allow it. Somebody here could even talk junk about you with people that don't like you. To look better or to look like that, you know, they're they're the ace boom coon. That's very sick. <laughs> I'm seeing here, yeah. This is an old love that wants to try to stay into stay in your energy. Okay, but your spirit guides are stepping in. I'm seeing here. Yeah. Somebody here is they're they're about to get kicked out of your energy if they haven't been already. I'm seeing here, yeah. Somebody here could act like they wanted to spoil you. Meanwhile, this person is late on bills. They don't have any money to do that, which is why it's like the world is here. It's not all about the money, but this is a user. Somebody here is like with the world being here. There's a new cycle that's coming about. You have a new beginning that's coming in because you completed something. Water sign energy is here as well. Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces. Someone here could be a water sign and they could have it in their birth chart. The letter P could be significant as well. First, middle, or last initial, yours or theirs. I'm also seeing here, yeah, somebody has pictures of you on their phone. The the letter N could be significant. Yeah, you also have, or something's getting ready to happen in the next 72 hours. You can expect communication in the next few hours from someone here. You are going to be meeting someone who you are going to be wanting to build an empire with. Or they're going to want to be, they're going to want to build an empire with you. It's going to be like a his and her situation. You could also be getting ready to go out on a date in the next few hours. Or in the next few days, someone here could be approaching you wanting to take you out. All right, Virgo, I hope this resonated with you. May peace and blessings be to you always. And I'll be seeing you on the next video.